Hello everyone, this is Mr. Botrot Asad, and today we will talk about solving world problems. I have a story here. A man went into a shop with 143 pounds. She came out with 37 pounds. How much did a man spend? The amount of money that a man spent is the difference between the money that she have that she had and the money she have now. So I should find the answer for this subtraction sentence 143 minus 37. I will use the number line to find the answer for this question. I will start from here, 143. I will go back 37. 37 is like 30 plus seven. So first, I will go back 30. 40 take away 30 is 10. So the tens will be one. So 143 minus 30 will be 113. Now I should go back seven, but I only have a three. What I will do? I will go back the three first, then I will go back four so that I go back seven steps in total. So I go back three, it will be 110. Then I will go back four, 10 minus four is six. So 110 minus four is 106. So the answer for this question is 106 pounds. My brother has saved 26 more than me. He has saved 118 pounds. How much have I saved? So this question, a little bit tricky. He has 118. I don't know how much money that I have, but my brother is a 26 more than me. If I have this shape, This is my money. And this is the money that my brother have. This money of my brother is greater than me because he has he has 26 pounds more than me. So this is my money and this is the money of my brother. He has 26 pounds more than me. This part, this part from here to here, this part from here to here is 26 pounds, the amount of money that my brother has than more than me. If I take away this part from my brother, he will be equal to me. So if I take 26 from 118, I will know how much did I save. So I should find the answer for this subtraction, 118 minus 26 equal what? I will partition the number 118. It is 100 and 10 and 8. I should take away 26. 26 is like 20 and 6. I should take, take away 20 from the tens, but in the tens I have only 10. So I will go to the 100 and take away 20. It will be 80. And I will go to the ones and take away six. Eight, take away six, it will be two. And I still have 10 here left. If I add these numbers together, 80 plus 10 equals 90. And I have two, it will be 92. So the answer for this question will be 96 bounds. 
A camera cost 170 pound. Its original price is 170. In a sale, it is half a price. What does it cost in the sale? I want to buy this camera. I should pay in the sale half a price of the camera. The camera is 170. I should pay half of its price, which is half of 170. To find the half of 170, I will partition it. It is 170. Now, I will find the half of 100 and the half of 70. The half of 100 is 50, and the half of 70 is 35. If I recombine these numbers together, I will find the half of 170, which is 50 plus 30 is 80, and I have 5, it is 85. So the price of the camera in the sale is 85 pounds. My sister has saved 27 pounds. My brother has saved 32 pounds. And I have saved 10 pounds. What is the total of your savings, of our savings? The total means I should add all these numbers together. So I should add 27 plus 32 plus 10. I will choose to make it by partitioning. So 27 is like 20 plus 7, 32 is like 30 plus 2, and 10 is like 10 plus 0 because it has no units. To find the total of these numbers, I should find the total of the tens together and the total of the ones together. The total of the tens is 10 plus 20 is 30, 30 and 30 is 60. The total of the one seven plus nine, two equal nine. Add these numbers together, 60 plus nine will be 69. And the total of this number is 69 pounds. Remember that one pound is 100 piastres. And two coins of 50 piastres will make 100 piastres, which is one pound. Remember that one pound is 100 piastres. Four coins of 25 piastres will make 25 plus 25 equal 50, 25 plus 25 equal another 50, 50 and 50 will make 100 piastres, which is one pound. Two coins of 25 will make 50 piastres because the 25 and the 25 make 50. So two coins of 25 piastres is 50 piastres. There are three bags. Each bag contain two and 50 piastres, two bounds and 50 piastres. Each bag has, contains only one type of coins. So if I take one bag that has 25 piastres only, I want to figure out how many of these coins will make 250 piastres. So I'm searching for the 25 piastres coins. Let's go back to the previous. I know that four coins make one bound. Four coins of 25 make one bound. But I have two bounds, so I need, I need four coins of 25 will make one bound. And another four coins of 25 will make one bound. But I have two bounds and 50 piastres. Let's go back. Two coins of 25 will make 50 piastres. So I need two more coins to make 50 piastres. So in total, I have two bounds and 50 piastres. How many coins? Four plus four plus two equals 
10 coins of 50 piastres. Okay. The second bag has 10 piastres. I know that one pound, one pound is 100 piastres. How many tens to make 100? I can hear you, you mean 10 tens. So, I know that 10 tens make 100. And another 10 tens make another 100. These are two bounds. How, how many to make 50 piastres? I need five tens to make 50 piastres. So this one bound and this one bound and this 50 piastres make two and 50 piastres. How many coins? 10 and 10 and five make 25 piastres. Now your homework is to find how many coins of five piastres to make 200 and two pounds and 50 piastres. And that was all for today. Thank you.